All the guns you'll be seeing today are available on solware.co.uk, based in Tamworth. Hello all and welcome. This is a test and review of the Reximex Lyra. Anybody who watches our channel knows that we have a battle league and in that battle league we have targets where you can score 135 points. Now, uh, we class a decent gun as anything that can score over 110. The Reximex Lyra today uh, will be set up with a um, 4 b 12 b 50 Mountmaster Nikol Sterling scope. It has on the end of it a uh, Get Shorty silencer and it will be using H&M Field Target Trophy pellets. Now, how much can it score? We don't know until we get shooting. So, we've got the targets up the guard in there, set up, ready to go. 100 points in these first two targets. Uh, the first target, there's five bullseyes, all worth 10 points. And on the second target, you've got as many into the bullseye as you possibly can to add another 50. Five shots to each card. Let's see how we go. Shot one. Top left hand corner of the first card. Probably help if I load it. Not sure if that could be an eight. Maybe another eight. They're very close to the bullseye though. Oh, that one's low, however. That one looks a ten now. That one's wide. So not great score on that card. That's a 9. That's a 10. That's a 10. Another 9. 10. And that is it. I'll go and count them up, see how many points you got out of the 100. Okay then, uh, first round scores, we scored 44. The first two, even though they look like eights to me, they had actually ripped the balls I ring them were 10s. He had three 10s, a 6 and an 8 on that card, so 44. And uh, on the second card, three 10s, two 9s, which give it a grand total of 48. Adding those two together, come up with a score of 92. So he's got 92 carrying over to our last round now, which is the rings. Obviously, possible here to score 35 points, but the very small ring at the end, the one that's worth 15 points, is more or less you need the pellet to be spot on. Let's get it out there, let's get it set up, and let's see how we can do. Okay, we're set up for our final round. 35 points up for grabs. We'll be using the red rings on the top. First shot, here we go. No points. Five points scored. Ooh, that's close, but I don't know. That one's a five pointer, though. Now then, for the big one. Well, he's got it. Well, that may have just saved his bacon. I'll just go and get the card in and make sure on the scores there, because it may be a few more than what we thought, but bear with me. Well, in that last round there, our Lyra scored 25 points, which will give it a grand total in the end of 117, breaking our 110 barrier of being it's a decent gun. Now, I will be quite honest with you, um, I think it struggles now and again. Uh, it's got a good score, 117, don't get me wrong, that's a cracking score. But as you've probably seen through the, uh, the earlier targets, the, the set of five that you have to hit, 
it was soon to be struggling there but it pulled it back around in the second set of targets and obviously like hitting the uh, the bonus points in the last round there with a 15 point score at the end it did really well to pull it back with 117 points um, I like the gun, it's quite nice to hold, the trigger is lovely and light, the loading mechanism, the biathlon style mechanism is really great to use, it's a lovely lovely feel to the gun. Uh, obviously there is also on this gun the option to, uh, to turn it up or down, the power uh, being a 12 foot pound gun. I doubt anybody will ever mess with it, it will always be set to maximum I would have thought. Uh, comes with two magazines, as we know with the Kraals, um, uh, sorry with the Reximexes. Uh, quite easy to like, fill up with air, you don't need a filler probe because being a Reximex obviously a male foster fitting is put to the end of each bottle and makes it quite easy to fill so that's great. Um, comfortable. Uh, to hold onto the shoulder, touch heavier than what you may want. Uh, I may suit some people. So I know some people like a heavily heavy gun. It may suit some people being a touch on the. I wouldn't say it's over heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight. Um, but besides that, it's done really well in its test. Review wise, I really do like using it. I wish the accuracy was a little bit more, shall we say, regular. It's, I would like it to be a little bit more consistent, is the word I was looking for. But uh, you can't knock it today. I mean, it's really still not led in. This gun's probably in its lifetime so far, probably had about 40 pellets through it, maybe. Uh, I had a bit of a game yesterday, probably had a few more than that to be honest with you. I did have a game that yesterday trying to set it to pellets. So probably maybe about the 80 mark it's had through it. Still may need a little bit of leading in and it may get better over time. Uh, the Nico Sterling, Sterling scope seems to suit it well. Um, like the way it feels, like the way it grips. Nice gun. Uh, if I do put this forward into a new battle league, I hope it really does well. But uh, yeah, at the moment, did really well in its test. Review wise, I'd recommend one. They are nice. A little bit, you know, they're a bit pellet fussy, but um, nothing that you can't really get around. I don't think if you have if you've got a few pellet choices in your uh, in your locker at home, you'll find one that does suit it. We found the H and Field Target Trophies and the Air Arms Diablo Hunters suited it well you may even find something else. I'm guessing that a couple of the H&Ns may suit it, maybe try Barracuda 18s, uh, I've not tested it on those yet, it may suit them well, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that concludes today our uh, test and review of this gun, and uh, to be quite honest with you, yeah, it's another one that RNC on tour would recommend to anybody. It's for uh, the people who like a traditional rifle, something with a long barrel and I would say somebody who likes a little bit of medium weight I preferably like a lighter gun uh, due to my disabilities like really I like something that's a little bit lighter to hold um, but uh, it's manageable I mean uh, I've got no doubt at all that people who are a little bit better able than myself would be able to manage this gun quite easily it's not massively over heavy it's not like, shall we say, the Wolfer uh, Rotex RM8, which is quite a, an handful of a gun to handle uh, with weight. But uh, yeah, it gets a thumbs up from us today. 117 scored. As we always say, anything over 110, you must be quite decent. And that scored 117, so you can't go wrong, really. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you all very soon in the next one. Bye bye now forgot to add in there at the end the chronograph readings for this gun uh, this was tested over 12 shots uh, and this was the readings uh, it uh, first shot 470 feet per second which worked out to 11.47 foot pounds 
Second shot 566, 11.31 foot pounds. Third shot 572, 11.55 foot pounds. Fourth shot 573, 11.59 foot pounds. Fifth shot 568, 11.39 foot pounds. Shot 6, 572, 11.55 foot pounds. Shot 7, 570 feet per second. That works out to 11.47 foot pounds. Shot 8, 569, 11.43 foot pounds. Shot 9, 573, 11.59. Shot 10, 571, 11.51 foot pounds. Shot 11, 570, 11.47 foot pounds. And shot 12 was 568 foot pounds. So, averaging there around, shall we say, if we go for average, 11.5 foot pounds, which is bang on the limit where you really want it to be. So, the Laura is fine for power.